Hi guys, it's Amber, or Anne Bambi from A.A. Miller's, and a couple of you guys were asking how I do like the face animation on some of my videos. First of all, it's not really like animation, like I'm not moving the mouse myself. I'm just changing out the decal which is on the person's face. And today I'm going to show you how you can do that. First off, we want to go to Johan S. Kruger, because these are his faces. and. If you haven't seen his videos, go check them out on YouTube. And so when we want to get the faces, we go to all the way down to his sets. And we're going to have these facials. I'm already subscribed to this set. So I don't have a button, but when you go here, you'll see a subscribe button. And you're going to want to click that. That will make it so that um, you don't have to click all of the faces. And you don't have to keep taking them all. You just have them all in your models. Okay, next we're going to want to go to Studio, which I already have open. And... To use these faces, we're going to want to go to uh, my subscribe sets, and this is where all the faces are at. And to get the faces onto the character, we're going to want to click on the character, go to the head, and then I want to remove my face, so I'm just going to take this and just delete it. Alright, so to put the faces onto the character, you're going to click on the head again, and then like click the eyes you want, so I'll have like the normal eyes. And sometimes you can just drag them onto the thing, but I don't know, for some reason it's not working for me anymore. And we're going to want to get, like, the mouth. And so, you're going to want to position your character and keep it in the same position the whole time. So, it doesn't have, like, all the move around thing. And it'll just look like a continuous mouth movement. So, what I usually do is, like, I take my recorder and I just, like, put it over this type of this part of the screen. And just keep it there in a continuous record and all I do is just change out the faces. So let me change out the faces real fast. Once we get done with all the different faces, we're going to want to put that footage into your um, software for editing. And since I like continuous recorded, I'm going to have like all of this stuff there. And we obviously don't want that in the video. So what we're going to do is just, um, you know, just uh, cut away all the stuff that we don't want and just have the faces. Okay, once we get all of our faces, what we want, we're going to put in our audio that we want to match up the lips with. So I do have an audio right here of what I want to do. It's just like a little test audio. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Hi, I'm Amber. You know, just something like simple like that. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take all these faces and try to match it up to the audio. I find that if you go faster on the faces, um, it makes it a little more smoother. And you don't want to go like how it goes like this. Like that. Tell some people do it too slow like that. Oops, I was thinking it was right there. And so just, you know, just try your best and try to make it look as close as possible. Like, I'm not the best at it, but some people are pretty good at it. So I'm going to do this real fast, and you guys can just see me how I uh, match all of the faces up with what I'm saying. Okay, so here is the final product. Hi, I'm Amber. It's not perfect, but it's close enough. And I hope you guys understand how I did this all and it helps you with your, your filmmaking and making your videos the way you want it to be. As always, thank you for watching and I might come back out with another tutorial how to use cut screen or something, so let me know how you think about that. And I'll see you next time.